This is Rock Leach with Social Fire, and in this video, I want to talk to you about something that's not being talked about much, and it's a silent epidemic in the black church. You don't want to miss this video. Being a preacher and being a part of ministry and a call preacher, many times uh, through the years, over 25 years of preaching and, and, and ministering, I've, I've preached all over the United States. And one thing that I do know is that uh, whenever I go to black churches, it's just a part of it. There are some great cooks. I used to like to know who the great cooks were. And, you know, I would eat whatever was prepared. And many of them like to flex and show you how good they can cook. But we're not talking about this one thing inside of the church. And I'm going to go ahead and get to that, which is our health. Now, I'm going to talk about that because I noticed over the years of me preaching and going to these different places. And sometimes the service ends late, not because I preach late. It's just everybody want to have words at the end of service. <laughs> I know that's not just where I was going. It's just what happens. And what happened is, is that we get out of church late and somebody want to cook me all this fried stuff. And then I take it back with me and because I am hungry. I have exerted a lot of energy and I need to be uh, replenished, if you would. I'll eat. And what I do when we talk about eating at, by, you know, midnight, one o'clock in the morning. And what do I do after I get through eating? I go straight to sleep. <laughs> After pounds was gained and years of this, I noticed that my weight, my doctor told me, because my wife is a healthcare professional, she believes in that uh, that yearly physical. Now, a lot of times she she gives it to me, but I'm, I'm a terrible husband uh, in that regard because you know, it's a little hard for me to tell my, let my wife tell me all what's wrong with me, even though, y all, y all, okay, so y'all pray with me on that end right there because she usually tells me what the doctor gonna tell me, and that's because they have the same education. But anyway, so what happens is, is that I go and I notice that I was getting really bad in the area, and I was getting to where I was almost going to be a diabetic, according to my numbers. And then I got to thinking about something. Then COVID-19 hit and different things of that nature. And we know that COVID-19 took out a lot of great and loving uh, African-Americans, uh, especially out of the church, uh, who had pre-existing conditions. Now, I want you all to hear me with that, pre-existing condition. And God began to revelate and share something with me. I felt it in the spirit, which is this. We spend so much time on Isaiah 53 and 5. You know the scripture. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace uh, was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. Now, that last part, by his stripes, we are healed. We all will quote that. We all will speak that into the atmosphere, especially when sickness comes up on our body. But what we're not talking about enough is what was the preventive preventative steps that we took to not get sick? I'm going to go ahead and say that again. What what did we do to stay away from this situation? And I've got to go ahead and tell you, African-Americans lead in heart disease. We lead uh, many times in cancer, diabetes, kidney disease. And whenever we have, you know, you know, you can go get one of them great plates at a funeral, that heavy plate. You get it at the funeral. We like to look for that heavy plate. And many times it's full of all the heavy foods that we should not be eating. Fried this, sweet that, sugar this, all those kind of things. And, you know, we have fish fries. We have plate lunch sales that's going to include something that is fried many times. And I know y'all looking like ah, you know, our church don't do this, but we still have a problem in the black church with people dying with these sicknesses. And I believe that we focus so much on healing. And y'all notice I put my hand out there. We focus so much on healing that we don't focus enough on health. Now, the reason I say this is because we can become very spiritual on things that don't necessarily need to be physical, uh, spiritual rather. We focus on these spiritual things and make them more important. And I believe in the power of God. I believe that we can be healed. But many of the things that we are praying for healing of are some things that we could have managed our lives better and not have this problem where we are needing healing. So, uh, Rock, what are you saying? I'm saying this. Uh, several uh, months ago, I'll say at the beginning of the year, I made a decision to be uh, vegan. I decided to go vegan and eat a plant-based diet. This is just what I eat. It, it's not uh, because of the Daniel fast or anything like that. I just made a change. And it's been a great change that have helped, happened to me. And if you go back and look at my videos, just go back and look, <laughs> you'll see Rock's been shrinking 
over time. You can go back to December all the way up to now. You'll just see it in my face and everything like that. But I didn't do that just because I wanted to get thin. I did that because I wanted to get healthy. Uh, and I believe that this is where we are, are lacking when it comes to people of God, especially in the African-American church, is that we put so much on uh, healing. Listen, those pre-existing conditions, the only way COVID-19 was really able to get us was with that pre-existing condition, high blood pressure, sugar, uh, diabe di being di diabetic and different things of that nature, heart disease. All of those things came into play, and we, I believe that now that we've entered back into the church, we're not correcting a lot of those things. So I'm taking time right now to put emphasis on this area because the next pandemic that comes around is probably going to be based in the same area, pre-existing conditions. What can we do to get ourselves out of the pre-existing and get ourselves into a level of health? to where we're prepared physically for these things that could possibly come up, could possibly be in our lives. There were great preachers, especially in Church of God in Christ. They, they suffered a lot of loss, and I don't want to just put it within one denomination in particular, but several uh, great prominent men of God and women of God left us because of pre-existing conditions during that time of COVID-19. Level of uncertainty was present, and we need to do better with focusing on our health our health i'm going to say that again we got to do better and so what we need to do what are we doing now and i want to put this out here this is not even about views on this video i just decided to do this video because this is something that god challenged me with uh what are you going to do about your health COVID 19 should have had all of us looking at our personal health our personal health and many times we'll call things sickness the demon when the problem was really we were eating demonically and gluttony and all kind of things, putting any kind of thing in our mouth, and then we become sick, and we want God to heal us when we should have been better with our health. Now, uh, I'm saying that because it is necessary for us in our church to change how we are doing. Fish fries should not should no longer be the thing that we do in church all the time. Fried food. Let's remove this out of the church and put some more healthy things in there. Some salads, some some different things that we put in there that make it better for the body, better for the body the human body uh, as it pertains to us in church many of us these services that are ending late and i'm just going to put it on it's we have service that just take a long time at night uh many times and i hate to say this and regardless to if children got to go to school the next day we have this kind of thing that's going on and uh we've got to do better with feeding late uh you know those kind of thing in the service early so folk can go home and get them a good meal and they're not sleeping on something unhealthy and so I'm saying that because this is something that's necessary to the body of Christ. We focus a lot on healing. I mean, I have seen situations where people are, you know, at a bad place, unhealthy. They are overweight, overweight. I'm saying it, y'all. People are overweight, and then when they get this sick report where they don't have long, they want prayer. They want people to lay hands on them. Y'all, we have to get better. We have to get better, not bitter, because I know somebody going to come for me in the comments on this. We've got to get better with our health. God will heal us. Yes, he will. But you, you think about it. You know, there are people who get gastric bypass and their mindset hasn't changed. And what happens with that gastric bypass is that they just find a new way uh, with old practices to stretch out what's been done to their body. They stretch their stomach out and they back to the same thing. Why? It's because their mindset haven't changed. And so many times we want God to heal us just so we can go back and do the same thing that got us in that situation. So I think the conversation about food, as far as food addictions, as far as eating and having comfort food and the anxiety attached, emotional eating, we need to talk about all those things. And many times we got to look at it even closer when we're eating out of church, out of habit, because if church service was good, then I got to give me a good heavy plate. That's the devil, y'all. That's bad thinking uh, that we have inside of the church, and we're just not talking about it enough. And I know, I believe in Isaiah 50, uh, 53 and 5, rather. I believe in that scripture. But are we misusing this? Should we focus on health more? We should. I've got to say that. 
we really should focus on health. I want to hear. I want to hear what you think about it down there in the comments. Get down in the comments and let me know because I'm so tired of going to the hospital praying for folk that could have made better decisions. They say at the end of your life, you look like the decisions you made throughout your life. And so I want people to do better. This is one of those hard words. This is a hard word. We've got to do better with our eating, especially in the African-American church. We believe in fish fries, pound cake. Lord knows it'd be tasting good. Uh, and I know that wasn't good English there, but when good food come out, you know it, it messes with, anyway, y'all know what I'm talking about. All these things here, we've got to be honest with ourselves and change these things so we can do better. Now, I, I know you're gonna come for me in the comments. Go on and come, we can have that conversation. But how many of you believe the same thing I believe? And if you disagree, get in the comments. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about what's going on in the black church with our eating habits. Are we focusing on healing more than we're focusing on health? And should we start focusing on health? And I don't want you just to tell me we should focus on it. Tell me some ways we should focus on health because I know on my channel, many pastors and church leaders do come and read the comments. They look through the comments. Let's give them some ideas, discernment warriors. Let's give them some, some ideas and ways and steps that we can change this. I want to know what you think. Jump in the comment section and let's talk about it. Let's go.